welcome back. This is supposed to be my August favourite video, but instead, because it's been a whole entire year since I've been doing this YouTube malarkey, I have decided to put together a little video showing my favourite videos that I've done and put out on this channel over this year. Um, yeah, I feel a little bit awkward. I know this has been, yeah, this is my 60th video as well, so I should really be comfortable now, but I'm really not. And because I don't have actual favourites to show you, where do I put my hands? What do I do? I want to show you things, but I can't. But yeah, so this is just me sat down, having a little chat to you and thanking everybody for watching over this past year. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe, have a little watch of the rest of this video. Please, 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 just to see um, what kind of videos I do make, because I will be slotting in clips of all these videos that I'm going to talk about. First of all, I'm going to mention the first video that I did put up on this channel. Now, I wanted to do YouTube for a long, long, long time, and I was just always like, never felt ready. I never knew exactly what I was going to do the channel about. I never knew just, yeah, I never knew how to edit. I never knew anything. So I thought, how is this? How am I even going to do this? But the thing you have to do if you really want to do it is just start, and I know this sounds so cliche, but seriously just get a camera and start because you, it's never going to be perfect. I always wanted, I wanted to be like, you know, everybody else, everybody else, but most, you know, the big YouTubers. I wanted it to be really amazing quality camera, I wanted the lighting to be perfect all the time, I just wanted it to be edited beautifully, I wanted that for my first video but you can't do that. I'll show you some shots of the first video now just to give you an idea of what it was like but yeah I really didn't know what I was doing but I love this video because it shows the journey that I've come on and it shows the fact that it doesn't matter if you don't know what you're doing just put one out there. If you make people smile, make people laugh at you thinking what the hell is this person doing then who cares and if it's what you want to do just yeah, put yourself out there if you want to do it. So that is what I'm doing. So that is what this video represents to me. And it's just a nice memory to look back on and think, I'm glad I did it. And yeah, we didn't know what we were doing with the camera. Um, but yeah, Jim luckily wanted to start YouTubing at the same time as me. I do put links in the description bar for his channel as well. His channel is completely different to mine. It It's reviews of games, reviews of movies just all that kind of talk but his are scripted edited really well just so much more produced than mine and just so much yeah not chatting away to the camera like this just talking a load of nonsense if you're interested in that kind of thing have a little look at his channel but yeah we just bought this camera which was 80 pound it was like a reconditioned one or something from um refurbished one maybe yeah from argos and i obviously wanted to get the best camera ever when we first started but you never know whether you're going to keep up the hobby so it's like why spend a fortune on it that's what Jim convinced me anyway and yeah I didn't think that at the time I was going to buy this 500 pound camera which is the what's the one that everyone uses the Canon G7X but I haven't got that yet and I will get it eventually probably but for now this camera is still being amazing so yeah we just bought this camera 80 pound got ourselves a tripod got ourselves some lights from amazon which were about 20 pounds so yeah they have done the job some of my favorite videos that i've done have been my decorating videos so i've got a little um playlist on my channel that have all my that's a wall have all my decorating videos um in so if you want to watch them have a click there but here's some little clips from some of them um yeah I got into decorating majorly a couple of years ago. So I started decorating before I actually started vlogging. So there's a lot of decorating that I've done to my house that unfortunately wasn't able to film. But I am so glad that I do this filming thing now while decorating because, oh my God, it makes things a hundred times worse though. Trying to decorate and not get paint on your camera and move the camera around whilst you're trying to paint. It is difficult, but I love doing it because first of all, it helps people. So when people watch it, because like for example and the grey grout pen that I did in the bathroom filming that video that video has had loads and loads of views it's ridiculous I don't know why it, well I do know why it got popular because it's one of those um it's a bit of a niche thing and it's one of those things that if somebody's looking to update their bathroom tiles on a budget and they're looking for a grout pen video I don't think there's that many people who film that kind of thing so it's kind of worked but 
I just like the fact that, yeah, I've had a few comments on that saying, thank you, I'm gonna give this a go. Um, you know, so if it's saving people money and they're seeing what you can do to easily update your bathroom on a budget, that's pretty good. I've also got a video where I decorated this room that I'm sat in now, and that's amazing to watch because, well, for me, not amazing to watch for you, you won't think it's amazing, but I think it's amazing because that sounds so stupid. It's an amazing video, go and watch it. Yeah, <laughs> don't put your head in there. <laughs> no, it's because, to me it's amazing, because I've basically been in this house all my life and this room was actually part of the lounge originally. So we had a really, really large lounge and my dad put this wall up, this wall here, to split off a section of this room a section of the lounge to turn into this room so that I could have my own bedroom because I used to share with my brother and obviously as you get older you don't really want to share with your brother so I wanted to have my own space and my dad built me this bedroom basically. It hadn't been decorated for years and years and years, it had wood chip wallpaper on the walls. This is proving easier than my last wood chip wallpaper, um, you know, was to come off. And you know, we've got this lovely yellow behind here we could use. Have you seen the back of this paper? Who invented this shit? <laughs> Sorry, who invented this awful, awful wallpaper? Brown carpet, you know, it was proper. It was the fashion at the time, but not anymore. So I wanted to change it. I wanted to make this into my spare bedroom slash office space where I have my computer and all my editing stuff. And that's what it is now. And being able to film in here as well because it's just a good, space to film in, nice plain background, nothing too distracting. So I like to sit here and do my videos, do my sit down videos like this one. Um, but yeah, decorating this room is just, it's just so nice to have that as a memory. Record it as a memory, as if like if I didn't record it, I wouldn't remember it. That's probably true actually, I have a rubbish memory. That's another thing. These videos are amazing for my memory <laughs> because I literally don't remember anything. Basically, Miss Moogle channel is my memory, just just my, that's all of my memories because I don't remember anything that isn't in those videos. <laughs> Absolutely love doing that. I loved the video that I did fitting the vinyl flooring as well because we learned how to fit vinyl flooring, we learned how to fit laminate flooring as well but I wasn't filming at the time that we fitted our laminate flooring. That would have made a really really good video but unfortunately I wasn't filming at the time. Um, but yeah just because it costs a fortune to pay people to fit your flooring. You can get laminate and vinyl quite cheap, but it's the actual fitting of that by experts, by professionals that costs a fortune, which obviously is, you know, okay to pay if you have the money, and obviously they do a good job and it's, you know, they need to get paid for it. But if you don't have the money to get someone to do that and you're up for learning how to do it yourself, then yeah, videos like this really help. It helped me, I literally, that's what I did to learn how to do it, to fit my vinyl flooring. I watched a load of YouTube videos, so there were a few out there. There are a few out there, as if I'm the only one. There are a bunch out there, but yeah, I'm just adding to that bunch basically. So if people like watching that kind of thing, um, have a little look at that video, the full version. Where's the knife? <laughs> <laughs> Did we shut ourselves in the room? Talking about decorating, one of my other favourite videos to look back on is our Christmas decorating video. I just played a little bit of it before and Jim was like, turn that off right now, it's September. Um, but I love that video because it's just, yeah, I just love remembering that day. We were drinking, we were decorating. Um, at the end of the video, yeah, you might want to watch the end of the video because I go a little bit mad because I've had too much to drink and Jim basically has to take over at the end and say goodbye and, and I just, yeah, we find that hilarious watching it back. I don't know whether anyone else laughs at it, but I still laugh at it when I watch that back, which is nice. It's just a nice little um, thing to remember. Other videos that I've loved filming have been just our day out vlogs, just vlogs that we've done of our day trips. We went to Delamere Forest in the summer and it was just so hot and beautiful. It was just such a gorgeous day. First time we'd been there and it was just so nice to capture the beauty of that place and our funny little wonders around the forest, basically. It was just really nice to, I just think that's a really good vlog. I think <laughs> this sounds so much like, I'm just like, this vlog is amazing, go and watch it. But it, it's not that, I promise. It's a little bit, but it's not. 
Um, but yeah, I just like that video. You know, I'm allowed to be proud of my work. That's the thing. That's the thing. Jim told me to do this. <laughs> I'm not saying that Jim told me to do this. I'm just saying that, yeah, I'm just waffling now and it does sound like I'm telling you to go and watch my videos. This is a bit awkward. I'm honestly not. I sound like I'm being too defensive, but I'm not. But watch them. <sighs> What I mean, <laughs> what I actually mean is, you know, I look back at my vlogs and you can kind of think which ones didn't work and which ones did work and which ones, you know, you'd like to watch. If, if it wasn't my vlog, I'd like to watch that kind of thing. I do watch those kind of vlogs. Vlogging is still, yeah, I used to be, I used to find it easy to do the vlogs and then I've kind of found it easy to do the sit down videos because I've I've been trying to do these favourite videos. Let's not talk about the fact that this is supposed to be a favourite video, but instead has now turned into this and is also about 10 days late. Let's just not talk about that. But doing these favourite videos at the end of every month have been a really nice way to kind of get me used to talking to the camera more, to sitting down and just talking. Um, so yeah, I've liked doing those a lot. And it kind of makes me think about the month and think about things that I've enjoyed over the month because I don't just pick like products I pick like things that I've loved as well like I don't know something that I've watched I've enjoyed watching or the fact I've taken up running just things like that really so it's a nice little way to remember what things you have enjoyed that month that pretty much about wraps it up really I hope you have enjoyed watching this video taking a little look back at all the videos I have made over the year can't believe this is my 60th video it's crazy. I can't believe I've been doing it an entire year. It was one of those things I just never knew if I'd carry on doing. I didn't know if I'd like. I didn't know. I mean, I always panic every single week. I'm like, oh my god, what if I what if I don't have a video? What if I can't? Because I, I like to get one up a week. Sometimes, you know, that doesn't happen because life gets in the way. But sometimes I think I'm gonna run out of ideas. But I really don't because with vlogging, you just pick up the camera and you know do a day at home vlog, do just anything. But I've, I've always got ideas. It's kind of like, I don't know, if I had more time, I would do more than one a week, I'd do loads. So sometimes I'll have a backlog of about five videos because I've panicked and thought, what if I run out? So I have like loads, like for example, now I think I've got about three videos that are kind of in the background that I need to get editing. Anyway, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please, please, please subscribe to my channel because I've got about 120 subscribers now, which is a nice little amount. Um, it's a nice little amount, it's a nice big amount too. Um, I really appreciate those people that have subscribed. I think it's absolutely amazing that people actually click that subscribe button and want to watch my videos and are interested, even if it's just to laugh at me. But if you like it, in a nice way as well that's very nice if you laugh with me that's even better um yeah thank you very much for watching and hopefully i yeah can keep making interesting content if there's anything specific that you really really enjoy um please pop it in the comments i love getting comments um just shows yeah just nice to have a little bit of interaction and yeah, follow me over on Instagram as well because I'm constantly posting on there, a little bit obsessed with Instagram. So if you want to keep updated, um, please follow me on Instagram. Um, thank you very much. And yeah, here's to another year. Thank you. <laughs> this is so awkward. <laughs>